What's going on guys, Larry here, eating um, a meal before I uh, put the kids to, the kids to bed. Uh, got in a little bit late, uh, had to take care of some things with uh, my wife and all that. So the goal for this month um, is to upload a video every day. And I can only talk about what I know, right? I don't want to talk about bodybuilding. I can talk about life from my perspective and things of that nature. Um, so uh, just a challenge to, you know, see if I could do it, see if I can get it edited, uploaded, ready to go. Uh, so explain some things about muscle growth, explain some things about life. Um, today, I want to talk about uh, perseverance. We'll get a little bit deeper into that, but for those of you that do follow me, you know that I'm a member of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated, and that's one of our cardinal principles, perseverance. Um, how do you continue when things get tough? You know, we're, we're about to roll up into a rocky time economically. Thankfully, if you follow the news, the Federal Reserve is going to cut uh, how aggressive they're doing interest rate hikes, so hopefully... Uh, this inflation is calming down and we can get some more money back into our pockets to pursue our passions by everyday things that we want to do and, you know, hopefully go on vacations, things like that. Um, but uh, what do you do when the going gets tough? What do you do when your back is against the wall? What do you do when things just aren't going your way? Um, so we're going to deep, deep dive into that. Uh, this is right now this part portion of the video It is Thursday night. And it's about uh, 8.45, 9 o'clock. So uh, I'm going to get ready to get these kids into bed. And I'm going to get to bed. And I'm going to wake up 3.15. Uh, probably 3.03 because I'm a tray. But I'm going to get up. We're going to go and train. We're going to work really hard. And I'll get into this thing we call perseverance and how it can apply to your life. How, can it, how it can apply to your training. And how it can apply uh, to your bodybuilding. Um, so hopefully you guys get something from it. Hopefully you guys get inspired. If not, hopefully you guys just appreciate the exercise selection. Um, so, uh, I'll put up a link to the exercises I did and how many sets were performed. Um, cause I'm going to link it to my website and I'm going to put it in the PDF and hopefully you guys download it. So let's go from there. Okay, back in the mix with a bottle of Hennessy. Uh, just put in my pre-workout, uh, combining it with some raw EAA. So I'm gonna have about two and a half scoops of this today. Um, I train fasted, if you don't know. So, you know, a little bit more extra amino acid is always good. Uh, may throw a little bit of carbohydrate powder in there, but overall feeling good, moving a little bit slow par for the winter months seeing as that we're staring it right in the face so um we're probably going to train at um iron heaven today uh, possible i haven't decided yet um so when i get in the car and start driving i'll figure it out which is normally how most of my gym days go so time to get ready to work hard and uh, come on back home and get ready for the day. Let's get moving. All right, so I'm recording this while I am driving. Uh, hopefully you all don't mind how loud that my car is. Uh, but in any event, today's uh, lesson word, what have you, is perseverance. Uh, not just perseverance in bodybuilding, uh, but perseverance in life. So, you know, one of the main things that I'm seeing a lot these days is uh, a lot of people just giving up and stopping um, before they see the fruits of their labor, right? That is not something that should be not, I'm not going to say applauded, but that's something that shouldn't be encouraged, right? One of the things that is a detriment to me is that uh, after quitting a couple of things that I thought I'd be interested in early on in my life, I now look back and regret those things. Uh, wrestling being one of them in high school. 
So the one thing I hate doing now is quitting, right? And always, you always have that saying of quit while you're ahead, but there should be some nuances with that. It's like quit when you just can't move the needle in any way, shape, or form. And what I mean by that is that for all that you're doing, if the needle isn't moving just a wee bit, then maybe you you should reevaluate some things. So, if, for instance, if you've been bodybuilding and you look the same year after year, contest after contest, then there's some things that you should probably uh, regroup and reframe. If you are in school and your study habits lead you to continuously get subpar grades, then there's an approach that needs to be changed. What a lot of people do when it comes to dealing with perseverance, instead of looking inward and saying, okay, I need to change this process, they'll get around people or have people around them that will encourage quitting. Uh, not with tenacity strength, not with anything that I'm doing. Hell, not even in my household, right? I, I, I don't like quitting. And now I'm going to I'm going to caveat that too with if it's bothering your mental health, then maybe you should reevaluate some things if it's something that you can't take anymore because it just bogs you down to a point where you just despise doing it every day, then that's that's a little bit different. In that point and in that case, then yes, quit while you are ahead. You don't want to bring any type of self-harm to yourself and I I guess the word is unalive yourself now. I mean, I don't know. Um, but you don't want to you don't want to bring any harm to yourself mentally that will uh, that will hurt you physically. So if you just can't take something, then obviously, yes, quit. But if you're in it and you're like, well, if I just do this one more thing or if I just ju adjust this approach, keep adjusting, keep playing with it. Uh, keep analyzing those systems that you have in place. Keep analyzing your workout program. Keep analyzing your study habits. Analyzing your spending habits. You know, analyze the people that you, you, you hang yourself around, right? Because they should be trying to uplift you. Uh, and they should be trying to continuously push you forward. You know, perseverance is not for the weak. It's when the going gets tough, the tough get going. There's, there's truth to that. You know, and I, I want your truth to be as we enter 2023 and that you will persevere through anything that goes, uh, that anything that comes your way. I want you to continuously strive for more. I want you to continuously do better. And it's going to hurt. Even for me, I'm, I'm speaking to myself as much as I am you. Even for me, I, I want to do a show next year. I've put it out there that I want to do a show next year. And inshallah, it'll help out. I mean, it'll work out. But, you know, it, it's going to take some sacrifice and it's going to take some perseverance through those hard times of just being able to afford, you know, chicken and rice. You know, I eat your success in bodybuilding depends on how many times you can eat meat and rice a day. And, you know, the, the, the kind that I eat is chicken. You know, I eat some steak when I can get it. But with two kids, you know, that grocery bill gets pretty high. So uh, I say all of that to say, guys, just let's keep pushing forward. Let's keep encouraging each other and let's keep doing the things that uh, God intended for us to do. All right. Hope you all got a good lesson out of this today. All right. Workout done. About to head home. Hopefully you guys got something out of this video. I'm not gonna keep this postscript very long because stuff I gotta do. And I like to get in a quick nap before I gotta shuffle off uh, kids to daycare or to my mother-in-law's house and me to work. So um, yes, I have tape on my glasses. I I'm gonna get some new ones, I promise. Uh, but in any event, thanks you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like to the channel. Uh, vlog simber uh day two is going to have a leg pull day um but again the workout is uh of little importance it's just a backdrop um and we're gonna talk about something i my calendar is not in front of me so uh but we'll figure it out
All right, until next time, guys. Y'all have a good one.